kid in high school walking the halls against the flow. Um, he knows. She was drilling the Bible into me. She was telling me about the gospel, telling me about. I'm going to let her talk and disappear for a little bit. Hey YouTube and welcome to Discover I, Discovering a Deeper Meaning of I, episode 5 we're on now. Uh, comment below, let me know what you thought of the new uh, intro to the episode since this is going to be the intro for the rest of them. And uh, right now it is a little rainy and cold outside and uh, I'm in Pennsylvania still for this episode. If you can see it, it does look a little bit like... Places I was in Alabama, but I didn't even. I've lived in Pennsylvania for 23 years and didn't even know this place existed. So, um, and also, if you hear wind or see something on the camera, like it might get a little blurry or look like there's white spots or something, that's because there's rain. And uh, I'm doing the best I can to do this for you guys out here today. So, I'm not sure if the wind is coming up or not right now on the camera, but I'll just go on and assume that it isn't. Uh, we're at an area right now. It's at the it's at the top of a mountain, the edge of a mountain. If you were from Alabama or like I lived in Alabama, it would be called a bluff. Um, but right now, where we're at, we just call it a cliff. Um, but this place is called the Love Rock. There's a lot of people who write their names and write the names of their significant others on the rock and stuff. And some. Some of the things that they write in these rocks may even last longer than the relationships themselves since I'm sure a lot of people who do this aren't Christians and stuff like that. But um, another name for this area, Lover's Leap, which uh, there is rumors and little superstitions running around about couples who would actually jump off the edge of this cliff together. And from what I know, it's like they're trying to get into eternity together and stuff along those lines. And that it is a pretty sad thing to think of, but this... This area that we're at right now relates a lot to Discover I. Um, if you've seen the things on the Facebook or seen when it's talked about, uh, you see that uh, when I say about love and things along that line, we say that it's the best thing in the world and the worst thing in the world, uh, which this place that we're at right now really relates to that. Uh, the people who write on the rocks and write their names on the rocks, at that time, it's the best thing in their world and in people around them they're having a great time then when you see people who use this area as lovers leap as they would call it that's a worse part of their lives because it's to the point where they don't think life is worth living they just want to be in love in an afterlife they might believe in and that's something that we face in this world a lot we do hear about suicides and things with kids all the time with people committing suicide over love and uh, in this instance, it's a different type of suicide. It's where both of them can't handle it, so they want their last memory to be themselves together and killing themselves together. And, of course, that's definitely not something that Christians follow, and that's not biblical, for we do believe, or in the Bible it does say about, uh, or it doesn't say it in the Bible, but we know with getting married it's until death do us part. And um, so it, if a married couple did jump off the cliff and die together they won't actually be married anymore but uh this is just a great little area this is it there could be a little bit more meaning to this video but this is just a little tidbit telling you about this area and stuff like that and uh just last week i was listening to a song which this ties in along with this too it's a song called uh slip on by by finding favor and in the song the guy talks about meeting an old man who was stand, sitting out by a river fishing and he was saying about how he was younger and just time flew by and he was saying how he was 85 and I'm not sure if it's based on a true story but he was saying about all the things he wishes he could do over about when him and his bride first got married she was crying and he said he should have held her after their first fight instead of ignoring her and saying how his son was asking him to play but he said he didn't have time and then just like snap of fingers his son got older and went to the army and died in the army so i'll end this video with that uh with this thought for something you should do this week is you should go and uh the bible does say that life is a vapor life is something that goes by and 
a snap of your fingers. It's something that can go by without even knowing it. And there will be so many things we wish we could do and things that we regret doing. But I ask that in this upcoming week that you would go to the people you love, your friends, your family, stuff like that, and tell them that you love them because you never know what will happen the next day. The Lord never promises us another day in our lives. We don't know what is going to happen tomorrow or maybe even today. Uh, but as the Bible says, life is a vapor. So I feel that we need to tell the ones who we care about that we do care about them because it'll be a burden that will be so hard for us to get over if something happens to someone and we never were able to tell them how we felt about them. And you can comment down below how it went last week if you told someone about what Christ did for you. Um, I actually did that, which it was a little, little weird for me, but I was at work and uh, there was a girl working there, which I never seen her before, but she, she was attractive in my opinion, or is attractive, and she I, I never seen her there before I asked when she started working and she's actually one of my old boss's daughters and she said she's been in college and stuff like that and I talked to her ever since then she's a really nice girl stuff like that and uh, I just told her a little bit about what I do I listen to Christian music I told her I'm a Christian and I said how I went to school for uh, Bible college for to be a pastor stuff like that and she she really was it seemed like she was she said she doesn't listen to that kind of music but she wasn't she wasn't avoiding it, kind of like when my friend Valerie was telling me I wasn't avoiding it, I was just taking it in. And I'm thankful for that, that she was able to take that and hear what I was saying and not avoid it and stuff like that. And I mean, I'll continue to minister to her. I mean, as of right now, I don't think she's a Christian. So she's someone who I'm going to keep working on. Like I said, she's a really nice girl. She's nice to everyone. She likes to talk to people and she has a really... Um, attractive smile that brings people into her so hopefully I can talk to her and something can happen there so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Discover I and uh, make sure to come back next week uh, Tuesday at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time it will be live um, I'm not sure where the location is going to be yet so I can't really tell you what the next episode is going to be about but I hope you enjoyed this and make sure to like it comment subscribe spread the word about it and um, 